I reckon Natalie Portman might be a big hypocrite. Let me tell you why. So in the late 90s, early noughties, guys about my age were involved in a thing that became the red pill. Basically, it was about dating, but at the time we found things in the world that couldn't be explained by the narrative. We came upon events, some empirical evidence, if you will, that things, we weren't being told the whole story. Let's put it that way. Now, since then, it's blown outside of uh, just dating. And there's one of these red pill things happening right now, actually, as we speak. My Twitter feed's blowing up about uh, the Oscars and Natalie Portman, so I checked it out. And uh, here's what happened. So this is Natalie Portman, as you're probably aware. She's beautiful, rich, talented. She's an actress. And she's blowing up Twitter right now because she's worn this cape or gown or whatever it is. And the things you can see in gold around the hem there are the names of female directors who were snubbed or simply weren't nominated for Best Director, I believe, at the... Did we say Golden Globes or Emmys or whatever it is that's going on tonight? And of course, feminist Twitter or social justice world or whatever it is saying how wonderful she is for doing something to bring attention to the fact that these wonderful, talented directors, female directors, have been snubbed. And there's implied without naming any names or that there must be some sexism going on. Women, they, they have minds. And they have souls. See, at last year's Oscars, Natalie Portman was there. She was presenting to Best Director. And she had something to say about the lack of women. 12 months ago, she brought this up again. Bring, bring, bringing it back to this. <laughs> and this. Uh, to be here to present the award for Best Director. And here are the all-male nominees. <laughs> Right, okay, so Natalie Portman's really big on this sort of thing. But here's something you might not have known about Natalie Portman, and I didn't know until 12 months ago when uh, the uh, Best Director thing happened, and I found out about it, and for 12 months I haven't heard anything more about it. But here's the thing. Natalie Portman is a producer of movies herself. She has her own production company called Handsome Charlie Films, and she no longer has to wait for a movie to come along that she wants to act in. She can make her own movie. Now, she's worth 60 mil, and I don't know if that's really big bucks in Hollywood or not. Certainly to me, that's huge bucks. And it seems to be enough to be able to make some movies because she's made 11, I believe, today, or at least her production company has. Now, as producer, I believe she can choose whatever director that she wants to direct the films that she makes. And given her stance on the importance of female directors, surely we would find that she has chosen at least some females to direct the films she's made. Let's have a look. So here from IMDb is a list of all the movies that Handsome Charlie Films, that's Natalie Portman's production company, has made. There's 11 of them, and um, okay, this is one that I know. Uh, that's made by, directed by Ivan Reitman. So she hasn't chose to employ a female there. Let's see. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Haven't seen it. Love the idea, though. That's Bill Steers. That's a man, too. Okay, so Jane Got a Gun. Gavin O'Connor. Nope. Uh... Spencer Susser, no. Uh, Don Ruse, no. Okay, Natalie Portman, that's herself. Christopher, Dylan Quick, no. Chris, no. Natalie Portman, no. Ten. So based on this, if I'm right, she hasn't chosen to employ a single female director? It's unusual, isn't it? For someone that's so interested in promoting female directors? Okay, so what would I know, right? I've done a bit of research. I found that her production company's made 11 movies and she's never employed a female director other than herself. Surely people other than me have cottoned onto this. Like, I'm sure I've not seen anything in the mainstream media, but people must know about this, right? Thing is, I've looked and I can't find any mainstream media sources that are talking about this. And this seems clear hypocrisy, but no one wants to point it out. No one wants to get to the bottom of this. Everyone just wants to uh, bask in the glory of a beautiful celebrity and... Shouldn't we have better role models than this? Like, if she wants more female directors, she's perfectly rich and empowered enough to do it. Doesn't seem to want to make the first effort to do so, though. These supposed ontologies that we see on mainstream media that come out of Hollywood, they're not real, they're fiction. This is a send-up. There's clearly better ways for Natalie Portman to support female directors than she's doing, but it's a simple stand-up, virtue-signaling episode 
that we see so much of these days. I'm sick of it. And that's what the red pill is to me, that we can go looking for something more real, more solid, more truthful. We can see through this and see through to the other side. And at least what we find there isn't necessarily good or bad or pleasurable or better, but at least it's real. It's a real ontology. It's a real version of reality. And that's what I'm about. So I'm Charlie Delta. Uh, hit subscribe, hit like, watch some of my other videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.